today i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys are able to obtain mythical drops like the straw hat insect breathing sword ores and more i'm going to be showing you guys how you get different boss drops like the nezuko's muzzle um sabato's mask and all the haoris it's pretty easy just follow through the whole video and you guys will see guys, the first thing you guys want to do is actually come to ushimaru village and then you guys are going to head over to the back and go fight kaden so kaden is all the way back kaden is this guy with the gray hair um, you guys are gonna farm him if you're about like level 15 to level 30 or 25 And what you guys are gonna do is just gonna go up here and Okay, it looks like they killed him. So you guys are gonna fight him. Uh, when he spawns back, I'm gonna fight him, kill him, and then we're gonna see what we get from the chest Okay, as you guys can see I got nothing from this chest um, again, what you could do is stay here and keep farming him or I can follow the same rotation I do. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the next spot, which is Sabuto. So Sabuto drops his mask, but he's also a very good um, boss to fight if you're between level 15 and level 30 or 25. Um, here we go. We're going to go back to the horseman. Alright, uh, now that we're back over here, all you guys are gonna gotta do is just cross the bridge and then we're gonna head over to Sabuto. Alright, Sabuto is right here. Um what you guys we're just gonna fight him real quick and then we're gonna see what we get from the chest. There we go. As you guys can see, we got elixir from it. We didn't get the Sabato Mask or any um, drops we could put on. But as you guys can see, you can get drops from it. Alright, yeah, after you guys are done fighting Sabato, the next place we're going to go to is for higher levels. Um, so what you guys are going to do is we're going to head over. First, we're going to head over to the Butterfly Mansion, which is right here. Okay, now that we're at the butterfly mansion, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this big old wall next to these clothing right here. All right, now we're gonna now we're gonna fight Shinobu and see what we get from her chest. As you guys can see, she dropped the water katana. I already have it, so I don't need it. All right, now we're gonna head over to the next boss, which is right next to Shinobu, is like right here, is Giyu. So Giyu spawns right here. We're gonna kill Giyu, and then we're gonna see what we get from his chest. Uh, as y'all can see, bro, he didn't drop anything. Again, this is a tier two chest. Um, It's a tier two chest, and you see I didn't really get anything in it. And I got something to tear one chest from Shinobu. It's just luck. So you guys gotta be patient and keep farming. And you guys can get something good. So after you kill Giyu and Shinobu, head over to Slashing Demon. And what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna just keep farming these demons right here. This one is not that high of a level. Uh, plus you can farm this demon. And you can also farm um, Nezuko too. Nezuko is right next to this demon. So I'm about to show you that. As you guys can see right here, I got an ore. Simple, bro. It's literally that simple, guys. I just got an extra ore. And I got two ores. Just like that. And you use these ores to unlock different things. You can literally buy, like, you know, if you click to use, you can buy reset rates, all that, all that, all that. Just keep farming. The just keep doing the same rotation I do. And I promise you guys are going to get mythicals. Next, you're going to go over here after you fight the slasher demon. Alright, what you guys are gonna do right here is that Nezuko is gonna spawn and she also drops this muzzle that I see in her mouth. You can use this to suppress your damage um, if you find like somebody weaker or something. But Nezuko spawns somewhere around here. I don't think she spawned yet. I think somebody killed her. Help me! Oh yeah, there we go. Someone's finding her. Yeah, so she spawns. So she drops a tier one chest and she drops the Nezuko bamboo pacifier and then if you have a demon, she has her blood art too. As you guys can see, she didn't drop anything, but like I said, just keep grinding to worry about it and you're going to get something good. And now I'm going to show you guys the other 
two demons you guys are supposed to be fighting after you kill these two again this is like a separate rotation you guys can keep farming this demon and the um slasher demon and nezuko but then there's another rotation for tier two chests. these demons though are super tough bro i recommend probably level 50 above so you can do mad damage to them i don't want you guys getting murked and getting frustrated all right so once you guys are back at the horseman Again, this is for like level 50 above. Uh, what you want to do is you actually want to go to Ushibashi home. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. You're going to see these demons right here. So the reason why I say you want to be 50 above, you guys are going to find out soon enough. So these are tier 2 demon chests, but these guys are absolutely ace to fight. They, especially the arrow demon, bro. And they got like 2000 HP. Like it's crazy. Look at this. The damage is crazy. Oh my God. Even even certain even as a high level, you can't really like solo these guys unless you have thunder where you can infinite combo. Um, yeah, look, look like I'm getting and if I get aggro by her too, bro, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Oh my gosh, this is why she gets slash set. The slash set is the best thing you'll ever buy in Demon Slayer. It's easier to kill them when the sun is about to like come out and you see them start burning. They can only hit them once, and then they, you still get their chest and stuff. Um, just soloing these guys by themselves is crazy though. I'm not even going to lie. These guys are absolutely broken. Oh my God, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. As you guys can see, we killed him. We got an elixir. You guys can see she dropped the water katana. Um, oh snap, you see he's dying too. I gotta hit him. Okay, now we're gonna get a chest from him. Now we just let him burn just like this. It's daytime. As soon as he dies too. Yes, sir. Yeah, the sun is helping us out. I like that. Yup. And he's dead. As you guys can see, we didn't get any drop from it. But again, that is the easiest way to farm bosses and get drops. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.